Hey guys, my name is Sue Valentine Jr. and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. Hi. Today we have a very special unboxing, of course, because this is a special pack. Very special. Specialer than special. So we have the Mystery of Lookout Mountain, which is a new pack for, I'm guessing, a new movie that they're making. I don't really know much about this, but all I know is that this is a ginormous pack, of course. It's just like the, the All Engines Go Race movie. I forget what that one's called, but I know that I had Jif, Riff, um, Verona, and Frederico in that pack. So this is the exact same thing like that. And this pack also introduces another new character, which is why I had to get it. They're so smart because... You know, I had to get, I had to get this new character from buying this pack. So I see, I see you, Mattel. You're too smart for me. But yeah, so we have Thomas, Carly, Percy, Kana, Sandy, Diesel, Mia, and Darcy. So Darcy's a new one. And I literally got the pack just for Darcy because Darcy got made in Trackmaster, but it was very terrible. So that Trackmaster version. I wanted to get the set just to get Darcy, but I could not push myself to get that set, even new in box and the regular price or discounted. I remember I seen it for like $40. I just could not get it because one, the set is kind of like a repeat of that, the Lava Boulder set with the Steam Thomas. There was like this shiny Steam Thomas that had a boulder, it has like a Lava Boulder set and i had it before like i got it like i basically got that set already i already i still have the the boulder thing the lava ejectors or whatever that whole mountain that it slides down in it's like a cave that it sinks into so i just didn't want to get another one of those so it's great that they decided to make darcy by herself and it looks so much better and she's ginormous like because I'm sure if it was made in any other way, like, it's just good that we waited this long. Because if she was made in Push Along or something, she would have been so squashed. But with this new toy manufacturer, I don't know who manufactures the Thomas toys now, but they make it so extremely accurate. And they actually, like, give them the proportions they're supposed to have rather than squashing them and stuff. So let me just open this up right now. I'm trying to take the tape off and it's really difficult because it's stuck. Now, Darcy is one of the characters that I wanted to get, obviously, because, you know, she's one of the new Jack and the Pack crew. So obviously I wanted to get her, but I just didn't want that very undetailed Darcy that they had. It's just, it was so terrible, like genuinely so bad. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about falling out oh my god they're they're loose whoops i didn't realize they're already like out basically oh this is heavy that's ginormous damn this is he this looks really good see why do they have to do this the show is like terrible now but the toys are amazing what the heck happened just now just fell. <gasps> what the hell is this Oh my god, I got a factory Aracana. Where's her back wheel? Be so for real. What the heck happened? Where's her back wheel? Oh my god. Not her back wheel missing. What the? Oh my lord. Man. See, I didn't even want it. I didn't even really want these extra characters. Now I got a a factory error kinda. Thomas! Uh, anyways. So we got Thomas. Here we got Thomas. With rocks and a mine shaft next to his number one. We got a flag that has a pickaxe and a screwdriver. Not a screwdriver. One of those thingies. What is that called? Wrench? A wrench, yeah. So, and it's just funny because Darcy's the only one, they did that on purpose. Darcy is the only one without any, like, design, like special design. All the other ones have special designs on them because they're repeats. But Darcy's the only one who actually doesn't have a special design. So that's cool. 
she is completely normal like she's supposed to be and i don't know can these glasses come off that'd be cool probably can't though this feels like it's interactive so bulky i wonder why this goes up oh you know what it might go up so it could actually go up hills or something it might have made it flexible for that but this is really cool darcy looks amazing look at how big she is like she's ginormous for no reason I mean, but she's one of the bigger, like, Jack and the Pat crew members anyways. So she has, like, rocks in the back, uncolored, but it's fine. And her drill is really cool. I don't know if it spins. It does not spin. So her drill doesn't spin, sadly. But there's this here. There's these two bits there. And these wobble, at least. These go up, which is really cool. I like that. I like that a lot. She looks really good. I actually like how she looks. I still can't believe I got a uh, factory era Kana. Are you serious? Why me, guys? Factory era Kana. And then we got Percy. We got a Percy here. And he has a boulder. Got a little crystal boulder right there. And a pickaxe next to him. And oh, also, I'd like to mention all of the train's wheels are like rainbow colored not really rainbow colored but kana also has that flag i don't know what this is is this like team team discovery <laughs> so yeah there's carly carly looks really nice actually her windows are shiny her windows are very shiny and they're see-through her windows are really nice and her buffers are actually really nice too they're shiny as well like they're actually shiny i don't know if i could focus but they look really good. I love her wheels as well, of course. And we got Sandy. Sandy has a whole new getup here. She has a whole new setup. It's really nice. I think this is really cool. She has like this whole design. Um, how do I take this off though? I have no clue. I have no clue how to take this off. Might I just break it? No, please. How do I take this off again? Let me see the box. Because I think on the box it shows how to do it. Okay. It just shows it on the... I like how that's the only thing they promote. They just show it on the front, but I don't know. I don't know how that works. It's like stuck on her. I'm confused. Oh, okay. It's rubber, so it just comes off. I didn't know if it was going to break. I didn't want it to break. But that's like a little cool attachment. And then here's her design on the side. There's all of her designs, and the back also has design too. That's crazy. The backs usually don't have design, but they actually print it on the back. That's bizarre. They didn't print on any other ones, but we do have Carly with her windows. So that's nice. And Thomas, of course I showed Thomas. We got Diesel. Diesel is one of the prettier ones. I love his purple. His purple always just like makes me really happy. I like the purple on Diesel all the time. But Diesel's very grumpy here. He doesn't like the job. <laughs> of course, he's just so over it. And here's Nia. Nia looks really good. I love the proportions that they gave Nia for the new All Engines Go toy line. Like the proportions are correct now, which is so crazy. Like she just looks so much better in the All Engines Go toy line, which sucks because I'm like, oh my God. I wish I had the toys like this for the regular series. But yeah, so obviously besides the face, but it looks really good. I love how it looks on the sides. She has a whole like a billboard and also a minecart tipped over on the side. So that's really nice. And then we also have the last thing, which is this little flatbed. There's this flag that goes on it. So that's really cool. We got this flag, flatbed. We got a lot of these flatbeds in the All Engines Go toy line. That's something I don't like, to be honest. We have so many flatbeds that has something on it. It's like all the attachments you could literally take off and then what are you left with? A bunch of flatbeds, like so many flatbeds. So many of the same flatbeds, just different colors. <laughs> it's a little bit iffy, but it's all right. Let me put this back on to Sandy. So it looks like this is probably like a crystal detector, which is cool. Kind of like when you're in the at the beach kind of detects some special goodies so that's really cool i love that and you know going back to darcy 
she's very accurate she is super accurate and they just they went all out with darcy like look at how this is how it was this is what sucks because the old toy line oh oh my god they also have her name on the bottom that's so cool so the old toy line they just never used to have it like that they never used to have it like that which sucks i don't know why they never used to do that like what the fuck what's going on they never used to do that with the old toy line always used to squash them and make them look stupid like why did they do that i wish this is how it was before i know they obviously had a different they partnered with a different manufacturer and that's why the toys look better but still i'm like you couldn't have done that sooner like if you could have did that beforehand why didn't you do it i just feel like they wanted to make it die and start all engines go and have that be the big bang because they just wanted to reboot it because mattel is so evil no yeah it's just it sucks that it took a reboot for the toys to be better you know it really sucks that a reboot is what it took to make the toys look better i wish it looked like this before and we would have had quality stuff of the actual cgi series even if it's not the model series the CGI series still is really good looking at times, like season 20 and 19 and 18. They they were so good. So I wish I wish it was like that, but you know, this happened. So, you know, I love how this looks. I love how Darcy looks. She looks great. Her face is really good too. I love her glasses. Her glasses are really nice. And just all the details, like this wouldn't have been in the other toy line. This wouldn't have been in the push along previously. Like this, this ladder being painted, that being painted, this whole thing being painted, that everything's just like 3D and actually painted. It's like, we're basically going back to like take along roots or even take and play roots. Like they, oh my God, take along and take and play were so good. That was, that was the shit when I was younger. They were so good. It was so amazing. Like I loved collecting take along. Take along was the first line I ever collected actually. So this is very great. I just, I still can't believe, oh my God, what am I gonna do about that? I still can't believe she has a missing wheel. Like she has no wheel. I was wondering, I was like, why does she look like that? She looks like she's like lopsided. Whenever I took her out of the box, I was like, why does that look like she's like kind of limping forward? Literally she has no back wheel. <laughs> what even happened? But yeah, so, oh my God, even her eyes. Is that supposed to be in that? I mean, she has stars in her eyes, but it looks like it's unpainted because it's like the same purple as her body. Why would they do that? It's all right. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and tell me what you think about the products, of course. Tell me what you think about the products. Obviously, this this is a, a dud. That's a dud. Uh, rate the product with me. I personally rate it like a 7 out of 10 because obviously we had that that factory error and then you know all of them it's just repeated characters really i mean this is cool and this is cool and that's it really so hope you guys enjoyed make sure to like subscribe and comment for more videos like these tell me what you think of course and tell me your likes dislikes do you agree or not agree with me and i'll see you in the next one peace